voice to those who can't speak. Tell me about the Revoice Glove. All right, so Revoice Glove is a data glove um, wired with different kinds of sensors to translate hand gestures, uh, sign language, to text and speech. Uh, mainly designed for uh, people who use sign language for their daily communication. How would someone use a custom sign language library? Anybody who uses sign language for daily communication would wear this glove and then he would do a gesture with his hand. This will be sent to a web app on, their, on his phone and he can type that word. So every time he makes that sign, that's the word that will appear on the screen and will be spoken out through the screen. Who is this primarily designed for? Anybody with a nonverbal disability. So it can be um, hearing impaired individuals, it can be children with nonverbal autism, it can be people with speech disabilities, anybody who really depends on sign language for their daily communication. Are there technologies like this that already exist on the market and, and how is this different? There's a lot of different technology catered for communication, especially for people with uh, speech disabilities. Most of them rely on smart devices where this is standalone. It operates completely independently from any smart device. So I was able to design this myself. I wired it myself. I programmed it myself. I sued the glove myself. What's your background with sign language? The only reason I know sign language is I come from a home that speaks three different languages. So my parents speak all the three different languages. And me and my sisters wanted to communicate in a different language, you know. So we, we learned sign language to communicate without our parents understanding what we're saying. <laughs> you got to actually test out the glove with people who are deaf. Tell me about what that experience was like for you, what you learned, and how you're hoping to make changes. I had lots of people try my glove, and it was very insightful for me to see how they interact with it, how the system works, how long it takes them to run a task, and how they feel when they train and it actually works. And it was really, really, you know, such a positive experience for everybody involved. There were lots of interpreters everywhere in the summit, and they came to me and they're like, you're trying to get us out of business. <laughs> <laughs> because they won't need us anymore. Everybody right. will have a glove and we won't have anything to do.